I was waiting, helpless. I gotta tell you, though, I knew I was gonna get out. Even if I had to kill myself, I was gonna get out. Honey, it's over. And it's over forever. I know. Thank you. I gotta tell you, I owe you. No, no. You owe me nothing. You are safe. That's all that matters. But also exhausting. So do you. I do. Yeah? You got a wedding to plan. <laughs> That's right, I do. <laughs> I do. Funny how those words can take on a whole new meaning. So, have you decided, uh, Puerto Rico, Port Charles? You don't really want to discuss that, do you? Hey, hey, hey. My wedding, too. Well, I'm kind of torn. Okay. I'd like to keep it simple. Mm-hmm. But we do have friends here. Mm-hmm. And flying them all out to Puerto Rico could get a little difficult and complicated. Whereas my father, he can just hop on a plane and he's here. I want you to have exactly the wedding you want. Should I get that? No, ignore it. It'll teach whoever it is to call for. So, uh, what kind of what kind of church do you want? Damn it. Okay. Uh, um, be right there. Oh, 
What the hell's with you? Suppose you tell me. about you when you didn't come downstairs. I'm not hungry. When are you going to stop obsessing about that man? He's just not worth it. Ruby, he loves me. Honey, sometimes love isn't the answer, but it's not practical. You didn't hear him. He came here the other night. I wish you could have heard what he said. I know I didn't, but I'm sure knowing him that it wouldn't change my mind about him. Ruby, listen, I... I know how you feel about him. And I know how you feel about us. And I respect you. I really do. But I, I have to trust myself on this one, okay? Of course you do. You've got to listen to what's inside. It'll tell you what to do. But the trick is hearing it. I do hear it. I just don't know what to do about it. Or I know what to do, but I can't seem to do anything right now. You're just going to sit here all day? Maybe. Not in my house, you're not. Now, rise and shine. Come on now, up. Get up, right this moment. There you go. Good girl, good girl. Now, step one step at a time. There you go. <laughs> Ruby. Take one step at a time. Okay. And then you just go down the stairs, and then you get on with your life. You're right. You're right. What I need is an answer. I'm going to get dressed, and I'm going to go find Sonny, and I'm going to make him tell me what is going on. Good. If that's what the voice inside you tells you to do, then you just go for it. That's the least he owes you. He claimed he was a friend of Cash's, and he wanted to meet on the docks. Who did you tell about Cash's? Well, that was my next question for you. I'm in the dark on this. Go ahead. Well, I was waiting there when it happened. It was automatic weapon fire. So I, I dove into the water and swam under the dock. It took me a minute to realize I'd been hit, and I... Hid in the pilings, waited for whoever it was to leave. Then I made my way here. So, I want you to start explaining. Come on, Smith. If you actually thought I had anything to do with this, you wouldn't have come here. Not unarmed and in your condition. <laughs> well, no, I was stating the obvious. But you, uh, you have very good friends who are taking excellent care of you. Now, maybe... Maybe they think that I am in your way and they just want to be helpful. So, uh, perhaps you could make a call. Well, I can't promise I'll say anything. Be no. persuasive. I don't think that's too much to ask under this uh, circumstance. I want you to tell them that I am not the one you need protecting from. Maybe if you ask real nice, they'll extend that protection to me. I'll give it my best shot. <laughs> Hell of a choice of words. <laughs> anyway, you'll live. Yeah, well, as long as the uh, infection doesn't set in. <laughs> we'll take care of it. I need to do something else for me. I need you to go with me and help me pack a bag. Sorry, I don't do the valet thing. No, you do the insurance thing. Now, maybe... If your friends see us together, they'll uh, look at the message and back off. Give me five minutes. 